when we add or subtract fractions, we need the bottoms of the fractions to be the same. Now the method to find this is to find the lowest common multiple of the bottom numbers. Now if I were to write down the 5 and the 4 times table, so 5, 10, 15, 20, and the 4 times table, then you will observe they both overlap for the first time at 20. So 20 is the lowest common multiple of 5 and 4. So I can write both these fractions over 20. However, this has been times by 4, 5, 10, 15, 20, so I must times the top by 4 as well to keep the fractions equivalent. So times by 4, I get 12 twentieths. The second fraction has been times by 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, so I also times the top by 5. 5 times 1 is 5. Once I have the same denominator, I add the numerators, so the answer is 17 over 20. Subtracting fractions is the same. I look for the lowest common multiple of 7 and 21, which happens to be 21. So I write both fractions over 21. This fraction has not been changed. This fraction, the top and bottom must be times by 3. 7, 14, 21. 3 times 3 is 9. I now do 9. Take away 1 is 8. So it's 8 over 21. So the golden rule is to ensure the bottoms of the fractions are the same by finding the lowest common multiple of the denominators.